Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can define hidden mesh groups to avoid uh, unsightly poke through issues of your body mesh through your character's clothing. Uh, we're going to talk about various ways that you can uh, hide this mesh and define the groups and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so let's get started right off the bat here. We have this uh, cool looking space outfit here. Unfortunately, this character is a little too buff in certain areas, so certain parts of his body are uh, poking through here and this is uh, something we want to avoid. Okay, so I'm going to start with a very basic example here. This one can be easily resolved. Uh, now to uh, resolve this issue, the easiest thing to do is just go over to your scene manager. Make sure you have your um, item of clothing selected that you want to hide the body mesh underneath. Okay, so in this case, it's a full body suit of armor. Okay, that's what our character is going to look like without it. All right, and uh, you can just go ahead and see the wireframe mode really quickly. Wireframe unshaded um, for, the, for the armor there. Uh, when you see the armor, really, we'll see uh, Brian uh, here. Okay, you can see there you go. This is a uh, character creator three character. And what we're going to do is we're going to define that uh, we're going to hide the mesh underneath the character's armor there. So again, make sure you have the armor selected and go down here underneath your attributes tab. Okay, uh, go down here to the very bottom. You'll find the hide body mesh tool. Okay, so we're just going to select that and your character's uh, mesh will kind of, uh, you'll see the wireframe of the character's body there and the mesh over top, the armor will just kind of be shaded as a kind of a white kind of shaded area here. Um, now the easiest way to get rid of the poke through issues is to basically hide all the body mesh underneath the uh, clothing. Okay, now this character is covered by the armor, so it's a fairly simple example here. I'm gonna show you a really quick uh, way to do it here. Um, on the very top, we have the basic and advanced tabs. We're gonna deal with the basic one first. All you have to do is just click a certain part of your character's body, like the left arm there, and his left arm will disappear. All right, if we uh, get rid of the armor, you can see, boom, we have it disappeared. We can left click on the hand, and boom, you can see the left hand's gonna disappear there as well. All right, you can control click to add those back in. Okay, control click just like this, and uh, there you go, You're gonna have that arm restored. But essentially, in this character, we want all the body mesh to be hidden, because none of the character's body is gonna need to be shown underneath this uh, this mesh here. So you can do a couple things here. Uh, one quick way to, to do things in this case is to use the mirror option. So have mirror option selected here on the top, make sure it's green, and then you can just click on left arm and both of them will be hidden. You can click on the left hand, both of those will be hidden, left thigh and torso, and even the little feet at the bottom there. And then if we uh, show our character, boom, you can see all the mesh basically on the character's entire body is hidden. And if we go out of hide body mesh mode, um, this is what your character's gonna look like. Uh, no poke through issues to speak of, okay? And we're saving a lot of resources by hiding that entire body mesh on the character. Okay, we can make the armor invisible, and boom, you can see it's just a disembodied head. You're like, where's my body? Uh, and we'll go ahead and restore that armor. Okay, now once you've uh, hidden the mesh on the character's body, this is a character creator three character, uh, just as a reminder. Um, but this kind of situation is compatible with character creator one and game bases as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna save this uh, armor, clothing, uh, full body mesh here. And when you save it, it retains that hide mesh data. Okay, and if you use the dummy mode, which is the one that we just showed, we just showed there, it's going to uh, translate that hidden mesh data to uh, character creator one characters and uh, game base meshes as well. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and save this uh, uh, clothing here. So we're gonna go over here to clothing and uh, full body. Make sure we're in our custom tab, uh, full body here, and just go ahead and press plus. Okay, we'll just call it uh, armor, and boom, there you go. If you wanna get a better look at, uh, better looking thumbnail, you can zoom in a little bit to like a nicer view, something like this. And then you can right click on your uh, file there and select uh, capture thumbnail, and you'll get a little bit of a better view right there. Okay, so let's go to projects. I'm gonna load in a couple of different characters now under CC1 and game base here. This is a custom folder I have prepared. Okay, we're gonna load in a character creator one character really quick, okay? We don't need to save the current one. And once we load this character in, we're going to apply that same body mesh or the same uh, armor to this character. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the uh, the wireframe again. So just go look at wireframe unshaded, okay? So your basic uh, character creator one uh, topology there and we're going to apply that same armor onto this character and the hidden mesh data will be applied um, with the armor as well. Okay, so we'll go to the content tab, back to our clothing, and there's our good old armor. We'll just double click and apply that to our character. There we go. 
and it should apply no problem and the entire body mesh should be hidden and we don't have any poke through issues okay nice looking stuff and now if we just go to our uh, scene and we just uh, camera visible boom you can see he's a angrier looking disembodied head Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to apply that same spacesuit to a game-based character. This game-based Brian here, I've already ha I already have him loaded up. Um, if I want, I can go to the Scene tab here and just take a look at the wireframe uh, on Shaded. You can see it's decidedly uh, lower uh, lower poly count, so much lower resources uh, consumed in the game engine. And again, it's optimized for use within the game engine, uh, this game base. Uh, let's go ahead and select Smooth Mesh here on the attributes, and you can see we can smooth it down a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And uh, just take a look like this, back to normal mode, and there you go. Okay, so whether it's uh, smoothed or not, we can still apply that same uh, spacesuit to it, I guess. Okay, we'll go to the content tab here and over to our clothing and uh, full body again in the custom tab. And let's just go ahead and apply that armor to the character. And once we apply the armor to it, you can see it loads in just fine and uh, no breakage on the character because if we take the armor off, if we make it invisible, boom, he has a lack of a body. All right, so that's how easy it is to basically save out and, uh, you know, save that uh, hide mesh information onto a piece of clothing and you can apply it to game-based characters, CC1 characters, um, using this method. In this next example here, I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can manually define the hidden mesh on your character. So you can see we have this uh, character in kind of a sexy pose here. And what we're going to do, you can see there's a few poke-through issues, various small poke-through issues on the shorts and the... And the uh, the shoes or the socks and everything like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to manually uh, hide all these ones. Um, so to get things started first, we're going to change her skin color to something a little bit darker just so it's easier to see. I'm going to shift select all of the uh, base body um, materials here. And we're just going to change our diffuse color to something a little bit darker. Change the value here to about 20. And there you go. And uh, what we're going to do here is just go to our content manager, or, or rather our scene manager here, and uh, we're going to change this to smooth just so we can get a bit, a bit, of, a bit of a better look at uh, the contrast between the breakages uh, of the skin mesh. So let's start, let's start with the uh, long socks here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my character actually into a T-pose just to make it a bit easier on me here. Uh, so we'll go over here to poses under template. Uh, you should have a female uh, T-pose. Under motion, you should just have a T-pose somewhere down here. Okay, let's just go to, there we go, T-pose, but damn, there we go. Okay, so let's start with the uh, the, the uh, socks here. Now, there's no pokeage through, but there was there was uh, some breakage in the mesh uh, earlier on. So let's go ahead and just basically get rid of all of the uh, uh, skin mesh underneath the socks here. Uh, to, so to do that, we're going to go again to attributes here and down to uh, make sure we have the sock selected here and to the hide body mesh tool. And we're going to pop over to the advanced tab here. Now, the advanced tab you can see here, you can define by section, all right? And you can see if I select the upper thigh here, for example, it's going to remove this little section here. This section, again, this uh, mid-thigh section here, okay? And again, I can control, click those to reveal the sections or hide them one by one. Now, we're only dealing with this sock area. We need to keep the uh, skin mesh on our thighs. So let's go ahead and just uh, remove this. You can see that one's still a little bit too high. So we're going to have to uh, control, click, and define that again. We do have mirror on as well, so keep that in mind. I'm just going to just click on each one of these sections here and hide them individually. Okay, we can do the shoes too if we want, it doesn't really matter. Okay, boom, boom, because they're not going to be able to need to be shown anyways. There we go. All right, and if we go to our scene manager here, remove the socks, there you go. Basically, everything below her knee has been amputated, and we <laughs> can just uh, go back into uh, normal shading mode or bring them back here, and you'll be able to see the result right there. Um, we'll just uh, change that back to uh, smooth mode there and you can see the results. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do then is move up to our uh, shorts. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our character shorts and you can see that defines it right here. Okay, so we need to get rid of the sections there that are showing through. So let's go ahead and uh, into x-ray mode. Now here I'm going to reveal by face. Okay, so we have the option for brush and face. I'm going to choose face for this one. Now uh, make sure we have ignore back face selected. And what I'm going to do is just start selecting faces that I want to hide, uh, faces of the body mesh that I want to hide. Now to uh, add faces to your selection, you can just go ahead and press the hold, press and hold the shift key and use a selection area just like this, okay? So I've selected that part right there. 
You can kind of gradually do this, uh, you know, section by section here. Again, just holding shift and like this, okay. And we don't have to be too uh, neat here. We're just gonna quickly do this. Uh, if you wanna remove certain sections, you can hold control and shift and just click and select so you can remove, just, remove them just like this, okay. And holding shift by itself will again add those sections, all right. And you can control, uh, click on certain particular uh, sections and remove them one by one as well. Uh, now what I'm gonna do here, let's just actually just uh, shift and select this uh, little section down here. Uh, what I'm going to do is we can actually mirror uh, everything from one side to the other. So this would be kind of a good example of that. Uh, what I can do is I can just go here and select mirror selected. Boom. All right. And that's going to mirror everything from one side to the other. Just like this. Now we kind of got messy in the inner thigh area there. So let's go ahead and uh, control and shift and deselect all that stuff. There. Oop. There we go. And same thing for this side. Control shift and deselect all that stuff. Um, and then shift, click and drag, and just, you know, select all the stuff that we want to add there. And you can get into like a lot of detail if you want, but uh, that's basically it. Uh, and then once you've selected all the stuff you want to remove, all you got to do is just set visible to hide. And boom, it is all suddenly hidden. And if we remove the uh, shorts, you'll see which parts of the character uh, mesh have been hidden underneath those shorts. Okay, so we're just saving a bit of resources and avoiding, you know, any sort of breakage issues. Uh, I can just select this little section here, control there and uh, hide, right? Just to, uh, you know, uh, get refine things a little bit. And I think we're good. Okay, so we'll just uh, do it, uh, work with that for the shorts. Let's now move to the shirt, okay? So once you select the shirt, that'll pop up. And here I'm gonna show you the brush method, okay? So you can select brush method here, just like this. And we can change the brush size, like a larger size like this. And we can just click and drag and remove a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, you can get more detailed if you want by making the brush size smaller. Okay, just like this. Uh, make sure it's not too small. Okay, make sure you have a relatively um, large uh, brush size. And you can see all the stuff that's being removed. Now there's this little section here on the neck that I kind of accidentally selected. So I can go ahead and select show, change my brush, visible brush from show or hide to show, and then just, you know, click there and get that restored. All right, and we can, you know, go back. Uh, to the side here, we can see the breakage. Again, we're gonna choose the hide and just kind of paint all along here. And uh, sometimes you have to use a larger brush okay, to, to get certain sections there. Um, I find that using a larger brush and kind of um, just doing a really quick job of it is easier than trying to, uh, and, and fixing it later is easier than trying to, uh, you know, do a really detailed job at the very beginning. So again, just, you know, Painting all up and down the spine here. And you know, we went over a little bit on the top there by the neck. Um, but again, that can be resolved by show. And boop, there we go. All right, uh, just like that. And you know, from time to time, you may want to uh, hide the, uh, the shirt mesh, or the entire shirt mesh there, uh, just like this, just to kind of see your progress. All right, there we go. You know, as you can see, that part might want to be hidden there. And again, we're not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, that's kind of the gist of it. You can restore that shirt. And then once you get out of the uh, hide body mesh mode, you'll be able to see the final result just like that. Okay, so no more uh, mesh breakage on our character. So let's go ahead and uh, restore that same old pose that we had there. This is a uh, showgirl pose. All right, so we'll pop her into that pose there. And now you can see uh, no longer any mesh breakage on our character. Uh, the bra, the shorts are fine. Okay, uh, we zoom in there. You can see looking fine and dandy. And the uh, sports bra there as well looking, uh, looking okay. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, what we're going to do here now is we're going to save all of these uh, clothing items um, by going up to uh, custom uh, clothing here. And we're going to save these here as uh, others. And I'm just going to go ahead and press the plus key here for uh, the top, okay, so we'll just save this as uh, top, and we'll select the shorts, uh, make sure that's the shorts we selected, yep, and go to the content manager, save those as uh, shorts, maybe we'll just kind of pan down here a little bit, uh, there we go, uh, shorts, and then we'll save the uh, socks as well, and the shoes, so socks, okay, uh, plus, Sucks, and uh, you know why not save those 
cool looking shoes as well. There we go. Save those as a, let's zoom in a little bit closer as shoes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a different project now. We're going to go over here to our uh, uh, female projects, and I'm going to load first the game base female. Okay, so we did load the game base male previously. I'm going to load the uh, game base female now, and we're going to try to apply those uh, those same clothing items to our game base female. Okay, so once we once she loads in, we'll see how that works out when we apply the various parts. Um, okay, so there's our female character. So first of all, let's apply the shorts, okay? So I'm going to zoom in on our character really quick here, and we're going to apply the shorts and the uh, sh uh, the shirt, uh, the top here as well. Uh, we'll apply the socks, and finally the shoes. Okay, and what we're going to have, you can see there is still breakage on certain parts, particularly the top here. Uh, okay, so the, the hide mesh didn't really translate very well for this game-based character, all right? Uh, neither did it on on the shorts. Let's take a look at our character's uh, um, CC base character's uh, wireframe uh, shaded here. So you can see very very simple geometry. Uh, this is our our game base character. So it's different from the uh, CC three character that we started with. And unfortunately, when you use the the painting or the uh, the section by section uh, manual brushing on your character uh, to hide the mesh, that's not going to translate to uh, to other types of characters like game base or character creator one characters. Okay, so but when you do the sectional stuff like the uh, the um, the but the uh, socks here that we did, uh, we're not going to have any problem with that because we just use the dummy mode. All right, so the, when you use the dummy mode uh, again, uh, selecting this and going over to uh, the this one here. Once you use dummy mode right here, advanced or basic, then it's going to translate to all the other characters uh, quite well. However, when you're doing the advanced, uh, sorry, when you're doing the brushing or the uh, the manual uh, setting here of uh, each individual face hidden or shown, then that's going to create problems when you're translating between, when you're going between one character to the next. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's just go ahead and uh, get out of the uh, mode here. High body mesh mode. All right, so I'll try one more example of that just so you can kind of see the results from a different type of character. So we'll go to content and I'm going to load in the CC1 female. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, load that up really quickly. And I'm going to show you how the shoes will load onto this character just fine. And uh, we shouldn't have a problem with that. So this poor young peasant girl needs some basketball shoes. So let's give her some basketball shoes. Going over to clothes here again and uh, uh, socks. And uh, shoes, sure, why not? There you go, now she's hip and happening. You can see there is no issue of mesh breakage on those. However, if we did apply the, the shorts and the top, there may be uh, mesh breakage issues, but I think we'll just leave her the way she is. Just want to kind of reinforce that uh, when you're manually painting or manually selecting the, the faces uh, to be hidden or shown, then that won't translate from different generations of characters uh, in character creator three. However, when you do use the uh, the dummy mode, uh, you'll that'll work out just fine. All right, so that's really all I want to show you guys in this tutorial. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you learned a lot about the uh, the new uh, hide mesh feature in character creator three. A lot of stuff has improved from previous versions, so we hope you like the improvements and we hope you find it uh, helpful and useful in your projects. So as always, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com and our learning center on our product page. And I hope to see you in the next video.